to 30 days of Irish whiskey. I'm Jack Bigadu, also known as the Hood Sommelier. If you're here, as always, click, share, follow, and leave me a comment and let me know you watched it and if you actually have any suggestion. Today, we are talking about the history of fulfilling a dream. Or today, we are talking about fulfilling a family dream. What happened if your grandfather came into the United States and wanted to distill whiskey, but because as a first generation immigrant, he had to provide for his family, had to actually build a life for the generation to come and never was able to fulfill that dream. That is the history of the next whiskey we are about to try. This whiskey is a long dream of this person, grandfather that came to the United States as an Irish man. When this person came, he had to provide for his family. He's a third generation and decided, hey, I love spirits and I always wanted to actually have some spirit. He worked in the spirit industry and decided, you know what? Let me fulfill this dream of my grandfather. And he came up with the brand Triple Dog. And Triple Dog pretty much is a dare, you know, or like a Triple Dog dare, is a dare uh, to be able to dream and fulfill a dream that actually sat in your family. Uh, this recipe or this bottle represent someone who wanted to honor his grandfather and blend the whiskey and age it in the mother home in Ireland to actually give it life. And it's a grain, uh, it's a blend of grain whiskey uh, that he created um, there's not a lot of detail on what grains are going in or how the blend goes in, but I love the details on a bottle. When I received this bottle, I'll be honest, <laughs> my fiance asked, is there something you'd like to tell me? <laughs> because the design of the bottle, the dog and the collar and the pen, so obviously, but uh, this bottle right here, uh, like I say, is a 40% ABV and uh, triple dog they say take the dare so let's try it and see this is a blended grain irish whiskey the nose is a little more caramel yeah the nose is a little more caramel vanilla ish I'm not sure if there was any addictive or not, but for it to be called Irish whiskey, obviously respected the rules and regulations. A little bit of citrus, a little bit of, I would say some peach coming through. All right, cilantro. nice whiskey remind me have interesting spices on it it's sweet on front some caramel notes mid palate it falls down a little bit but some ginger note at the end not really a spice it doesn't the finish is a little short the star really happens on front the real the star of this whiskey happens really in front those sweet tingling notes on front of a little bit of that citrus ginger spice comes in but on the finish it left it leaves you a little wanting more mid palate it coats your mouth perfectly i'll be honest i never expect a lot out of a 40 percent abv whiskey honestly because at that proof for me as a spring summer whiskey but when it's blended perfectly those grain gives you a mouthfeel that is just amazing that you almost cannot resist but you go back and have another one and that's what's happening here the mouthfeel on this whiskey is a one 
is A1. Love the mouthfeel, love the design, love the sweetness and the citrusy, citrus notes on front. I want it, I want more on the finish, but honestly, straight to the point, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Love the design is, is definitely a, con a conversation piece, but uh, let me know if you've tried Triple Dog and what are your thoughts. Till next time, sláinte.